Hey Mario, do you think that I can be a model? In this video, you're gonna find out if you have what it takes to become a model. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mario and I've been modeling professionally for about two years now. Meaning this is my full-time job. That's how I'm making money and this is what I do for a living. Here are some of my cards from New York and uh, Milan, this one. It is a lot of fun, yay! So I understand that many people want to be part of this lifestyle. They want to be part of this glamorous fashion industry. So in this video, I'm going to give you the top five things that you need to have if you want to become a model. Let's get started. Requirement number one, height. So to be a model, you definitely have to have a certain height. And honestly, that's something I never really understand because if you look at my portfolio here, so that's my modeling portfolio. Most of the times I'm not even standing up. You don't even see my whole body. You know, it's like, you know, half body, half body, just my face, whatever, me and a tiger. But that's how this industry works. So let's just deal with it, okay? But for women, you definitely should be like 5'7 or 5'8. And for all my European friends out there, that's like 173 centimeters. And it would be like 180, 182, which is like 6 feet at least to be a model. And for commercial modeling, it's a bit more flexible, so you can get away with being a bit shorter. But when it's about high fashion modeling, Oh, you have to be really tall because you have to walk down the runway and designers want you to be tall and really fit the clothes well. And as much as I hate it, the top agencies out there in New York, Milan, Paris, they will not sign you unless you have a certain height. Requirement number two, age. You have to be young and fresh to be a model. That's one more thing that doesn't really make sense to me. I mean, you can look young. I mean, look at me. I don't even grow a beard. I don't have chest hair. I don't know what's wrong with me. But the reality is, as much as I hate to say it, if you are old, an agency will not sign you. And for men, it's a bit easier because there's men working in their 30s and stuff, you know, for commercial stuff, especially if you have this beard look. So especially if you're a girl, it's better to get started early. So they're going to be like, oh, girl, you're so pretty. You're the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. But we can't sign you because you're already 24 and by the time we build your portfolio and we introduce you to clients, you're going to be 26 and that's like 64 in modeling years. That's when you retire. Thanks, bye. And I'm not saying that you should be super young. I think a lot of people start too young, especially some girls I met in Tokyo who started modeling when they're 14. But I think if you finish school first, that's always a good thing to do. Um, <laughs> so you're going to be around 17, 18. That's a good time to start modeling. Okay, requirement number three, you need a very thick skin because this industry is just full of rejection. So it's not like you go to a casting and you're like, hey, here I am, give me the job. No, you actually go to 10 castings, they make you wait for two hours, they make you come back for a fitting, then you're an option for something, right? And you're really excited. Oh my God, I got this call. I'm on option for this huge campaign in New York. Oh my God, I'm gonna be rich. You're gonna quit your job as a bartender. You're gonna call your mom and be like, hey mom, mom, I'm gonna be rich. It's gonna happen. <laughs> and then you get a text from your agency saying, oh, I'm sorry, Mario, I forgot to tell you. Um, you didn't get the job. They picked someone else. Yep, that happened to me more than once. But the important thing is you can't take it personal. Always know that it's not about you, it's just about what they want. They look for a specific type, for a specific image, and sometimes you're better looking, it's just about they want somebody who has lighter skin. They want black people, but they might want Asians. Your hair is too light. Or they need somebody without any tattoos. Or they need somebody with a skull tattooed on their foreskin. So if you have problems dealing with rejection, this is probably not the right industry for you. Requirement number four, body type. So a lot of people think models have to be ripped and muscular. A lot of times it's actually the opposite. Girls should not be too muscular. They should be lean. Sometimes even having big boobs for girls is not a good idea. If you're a big guy, you're ripped and you're almost like a bodybuilder, you're probably not gonna be a model. I've been there, I was into bodybuilding when I started modeling. Here's a picture of me when I was 17, 18. I actually had to lose a lot of weight. So especially when it comes to fashion shows, you have to fit a sample size. And they are usually very, very small. They're not gonna change their clothes for you. So you have to make sure that you fit the clothes. And a lot of people think you need to have a six pack. But that's not true, a six pack doesn't hurt. But honestly, to work as a model, 
very few drops require a six pack. That's like a niche for some body stuff, but the main big modeling jobs and campaigns just need you to look fit, look skinny, look slim and fit the clothes. And it's also different for different markets. In the US in general, especially Los Angeles, you can be a bit bigger, have a bit more muscle mass. Especially in Paris or even London, you have to be really, really, really skinny. That's actually one of the reasons why I never worked in Paris. Because they basically told me that I have to lose more weight and I just still want to be able to do this. But if you want to start modeling, make sure that you fit a regular sized jacket. And the last requirement, number five, self confidence so if you want to be a model you have to be confident because to get a job you actually have to go to castings first and you just want to be able to walk into a casting with confidence show who you are and show that you're a stable human being because if the designer sees you and they see that you're like shaking and, and not put together they don't want to deal with you on a shoot they don't have the time for that so make sure that you have the confidence to deal with all the challenges out there be yourself walk in don't fake anything and I think that's what's going to get you furthest. Because in the end it's a lot about relationships and you want people to like you. So you have to be confident and comfortable with who you are first. Alright, that's it! So do you think you have what it takes? Or are you crying because you're not tall enough? And I really hope I didn't destroy anyone's dreams because now they realize that they're too short or something. Because I want to tell you that there are always exceptions to the rule. I mean, there's a lot of models who don't meet these requirements, but they still work a lot. David Gandhi, for example, is super big, too big to be a model. He's also very old, but he's still killing it, right? So even if you're a bit older or you don't have the perfect height to be a model, don't stop. If that's something you want to do, go for it and you'll find a way. Don't let these weird things stop. You can prove them wrong. And if you want to do this and you want to know how to become a model step by step, I have another video for you. If you have any more questions, ask below in the comment section. I read every single comment. I wish you the best of luck and I'll see you next time. Mwah.